or two most in the PDC. Expand my knowledge, see what we could do when we work together or work with the Earth as opposed to make the Earth work for us. I'm just interested in seeing how everyone runs their farms, like what they like to do, where they set up things, why they chose the places that they chose. It's very different to be suddenly thrust into a community with 30 other people who all have um, these similar interests and these similar ways of thinking. I started getting into organic gardening and learning more about that. I want to do it uh, creating a system, a closed system, rather than having to have a lot of inputs that we, we bring into it. A piece of alder tree that was not to fall in our classrooms, so we cut it down and now we're going to make food out of it. started Alder Leaf, I was working mostly as a wildlife biologist at the time. Permaculture skills really tie hand in hand with wilderness skills, whereas if you learn about nature and love it, you'll want to live a lifestyle that's in congruency with that belief. We train and certify more wildlife trackers than any other school in North America. And to me, permaculture is long-term survival. Like, how do we survive long-term in a way that's more sustainable and makes us more resilient? I want to encourage all of you to not only tour with our eyes and our ears, but tour with the rest of your body as well and all of our senses. And starting to look and feel the world around us in a very, in a much more animal kind of, or more human, human animal capacity, <laughs> right? Just let's think about alternatives. Let's think about different ways of doing things. We want to place elements into the landscape in such a way that uh, the things that we need most and the things that need us most are close at hand. Permaculture is an information intensive art. If this is working, it will be evidenced by other species and organisms coming in to inhabit it. And I planted that snake. <laughs> uh, right back here is Alder Leaf's Earth Oven, the concept of insulation and the concept of thermal mass. The way I like to think about it is it's like a heat battery. Pretty awesome example of a bunch of technologies. We can take that same concept and that same understanding and we can apply it to how we design our house or how we figure out refrigeration or how we build a root cellar or how we create microclimates for our plants to grow. And part of why I really wanted the PDC was because it allows you to take those techniques that you have some grasp on and understand the method by which you apply them and where you apply them. I just want to bring nature back. This is one tool to do it, to mimic nature and to put nature into our systems. I, I'm getting insights on what it is that you need to do to regenerate forests and actually make forests to work for humans and for nature. It's refreshing and being able to freely share your ideas and, and let them grow. You don't feel held back. Be able to grow my own food, support myself with, with that, and be able to heal others as well. Be able to spread healthy food around the world. Guys are awesome. We have to do it. It's up to us to keep this tree from breaking apart. Right, this is a good snack fruit tree, you know. This is the zone one kind of area. We should have something we should be eating in the summertime. Mike, you're the man. <laughs> it's a swamp plant. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cogson. Don't bite your fingernails, kids. So this is going to be a battery. There's a battery box. And this is for the fence. It's great. Like, you can see everything, and the light comes from everywhere. So it's really nice. And we've set them up in many places, living spots or uh, workshops or all kinds of things. I was able to trade nursery stock for that tower. Now, the lower array we put in first, uh, me and a couple interns who like that, doing that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to see where I could plug in with my community 
and meet the needs for our particular area. I, I feel it builds like this momentum energy and everybody's so excited and after being here all together you just want to go out to the world and make like a huge permaculture project and a huge revolution and, and that's great.